And police are still searching for that hit and run driver who caused the crash. Police believe that driver might have been involved in street racing and say that crash killed two innocent victims. I just heard from the family from one of those victims, and one of the victims, her name is Spichelle Pope. The family member tells me that she's a mother of four. It's her little brother who spoke to me and tells me that she was such a caring mother and woman to everyone. And I want to show you here this afternoon, there's also a a small memorial that's growing here with flowers as well. Community members really rattled by what happened here. And we also have new ring camera video showing when the crash happened. Take a look. The moment the car crash happened, police say a Toyota Corolla was traveling westbound on Rancho Vista Boulevard. The driver of a Challenger was speeding in the same direction and rear-ended the Corolla, causing that car to lose control, hit a pole, and burst into flames, killing both a man and a woman inside. Again, we now know that woman is a mother of four. And we want to show you another piece of video. This here shows the aftermath of the crash. You can see the car is on fire and police are responding to this horrific crash. Police say the driver of the Challenger fled the scene after causing that crash. And we also spoke with the witness on the scene. Take a listen. I head up the embankment and I see the gentleman. He's feeling around. He's trying, I guess, to make it safety. And um, I scream at him. I tell him to follow my voice. He falls back over on his back. He reaches for me. I head into the flames, man. I take off my apron, and I try my best to pull him to safety. And? He stayed with me for about three or four minutes, man, before he passed. Just a horrible tragedy. And again, here you can see that there's a small memorial growing. Now, police again believe that street racing might have been involved in this crash, but they say the two innocent victims who were killed in this crash were not at all involved in that street race. And they are looking for that hit and run driver. If you have any information, you're asked to call police and we'll have more for you at 10 o'clock. Back to you.